Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentat here, bringing you episode 31 of my Agrarian Skies Hardcore Quest Let's Play. This game pack by Jaded Cat is available on the Feed the Beast launcher. Last time, I got that laser drill set up. It's kind of neat, providing me with all kinds of resources. This time, I want to get going on some quests. I have quite a few new ones to go over, thanks to a recent pack update. And let's show the uh, um, new additions. There you go. You should be able to see that um, the pack is now on 2.1.1 as of today, and it will likely be up being updated further sometime very soon. And um, you can see that um, HQM, COFH, and T3 were updated. XNILO was updated. A lot of bug fixes, not a whole lot of content added, but for, um, all of these bug fixes were very ne necessary. Having infernal creature, creepers turned off was very nice. Um, being able to pulverize wool into dyes again, that's very nice. Um, the Getting all of the proper harvest craft seeds from the grass, apparently people couldn't get lettuce, that was a problem. And fixed a uh, um, exploit with blood magic mobs and the auto spawner. Also added harvest craft whale fixes and tcon tooltips, both of those are pretty cool. And the island spawn builder, which is awesome for server, uh, server owners who are running uh, this particular pack. So let me show you what those Wayla fixes do. If I come over here and look at, there you go. You can see that this is onions and this is spice leaf, where before it just showed crop. It was kind of not good. And if I were to look up, um, say, a cobalt hammer in uh, NEI, instead of just seeing that it's a cobalt hammer, you can also hit shift for stats, which shows that it has 12,600 durability with an effective durability of 15,120, um, an attack of three and a half hearts with a big bonus to undead and a mining speed of 2.2. Whereas if I hold control, it will show me that it's made with a cobalt hammer head, cobalt large plate, cobalt large plate, and cobalt tough rod, and exactly what each of those does for the uh, um, item. So really neat. Um, additional uh, little mod there for extra info. I'm kind of really enjoying it. Um, even though I don't use Tinker's Construct, I think that that's like a, you know, phenomenal idea. I'm really happy that uh, that got added. Um, if you give me just one moment, I'll go find you the developer's name. Looks like Squeak502 is the person in uh, involved in making these. So yes, thank you very much Squeak502 for improving our information gathering abilities. All right, moving on. We should have that nether copper quest done by now. Because I only needed a few more nether copper. I only have one last. So close, but so far. Yep, I needed three. Oh well. I'm sure it'll uh, complete by the end of this episode. So, uh, let's see what else we have. I believe the purple madness quest has been altered. Yeah, I only need like a thousand of things now and instead of, uh, you know, what was 10,000 of everything before. Still need a lot of amaranth, amaranth planks. I better get myself a uh, sapling for that. I wonder if I have one. I do not. wonder if I can craft one. I cannot. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, sieve for those nature saplings. I'm pretty sure it's topiary grass or something like that. I'll figure it out later. It's not my focus this episode. Uh, what I did want to look into is what new quests there were. It doesn't look like anything was added to go with the flow. And I'm not going to work on these. this one. Ooh, fluid protein. I need uh, 1,600 buckets of meat. It'll get me a bunch of uh, pigs, some full hearts, Ooh, and some water hives. That'll be useful. I knew that already, though. Uh, mushroom soup, liquid mobs I've completed, great balls of fire. I haven't completed that yet. That's only 50 buckets of blazing pyrothean. I'm going to get that going. Uh, in fact, that's resident portal t portable tank full of something. I might have already started on the blazing pyrothean while I was uh, some other time. Yes, actually I did. Sweet. I got that prepared between episodes because I was thinking ahead. And then I completely forgot that I had done that because I'm a derp. All right, so just select task, whack a QDS with it, stick the resident portal tank on top and turn it on. Bing, another quest complete. 
So I'll take the right hand reward bag. I get a full heart and an epic reward bag. My full heart brings me to 39 lives and my reward bag gives me a whole bunch of fishing stuff for mariculture. Fantastic. I'm going to toss these into a chest, into the quest rewards chest, and come back for them when I get uh, into mariculture fishing. The RF fishing rod is probably the best thing out of that because it's, you know, completely uh, invulnerable, uh, invincible. You will be able to continue fishing as long as you have the power. All right, so that's Great Balls of Fire. I haven't done... That's only 160 buckets of gelid cryothium. I could do that, no problem. All I need to do is start this guy making me some more cryothium. Hmm. Oh, do I not? Did I not have that? I have the 13 blizz powder, but I'm going to need a lot more than that. You know what? I think I was doing all of that manually, but I can at least start that cooking. Today is just quests. That'll take a while, and I'm actually going to need to get more in between. So I'll set up some, uh, um, what do you call them? These guys. I have two of them. Can't remember. Glacial Precipitator. There you go. I'll set those up to make me snowballs in between. Actually, you know what? Forget that. I've got a better way. I'm going to take my Terrain Smashers up here. And maybe I'll grab a barrel to go with them. That'd be good. And I want some storage bus. So since I'm going to need a whole bunch of snowballs anyway. Hmm, I also need to be taller. Can I make that jump? Probably not. Blast. I'll go get an actual ladder sometime. So, if I stick a train smasher right here and right here, and I get both of these some barrels to output into. There. Now I have snowball production. Completely passive, power-free, water-free snowball production. That's what I like to see. No effort required. I'll still need to set up the glacial precipitator sometime soon to start making lots and lots of ice. Yay, snowballs. The snow doesn't uh, regen like instantly, but it's just going to happen all on its own. So, fantastic. All right. Um, need to make seed oil, get into that later. Liquid bees. Huh, destabilized redstone. I need 50 buckets of that. That's actually not a problem either. Uh, let me see. We've got this tank full of water that I really don't need. Wait, do I have a water source on my island? Yes, I do. I've got a, a, a aqueous accumulator over there. Good. So I'm just going to remove that because the QDS will void anything that gets piped into it even if it doesn't have anything that it can do with that. Um, oh good, you're no longer set to export those. Let's see, I actually need to get you to output into this fluid duct. I've got the production of, uh, capability there. I might as well use it, right? And fill up this resident portable tank for me. And that only held 10 buckets naturally, and each of these is only a fifth of a bucket. So that'll take a little bit to fill up, but it shouldn't be too long. That'll be one more quest complete. Uh, sticky situation. Honey, that'll wait until we get into bees. Ethanol. That requires me to set up a bioreactor from Mine Factory Reloaded. Well, actually, I don't remember if the Mine Factory Reloaded biofuel and the forestry ethanol are the same thing at all. No, I'm going to need to get myself a uh, proper still and biomass and all of that set up before I can do that. So, never mind on the ethanol for now. Uh, moving on. 
bees and trees we're not, not going to touch yet. For the hoarding, hasn't had anything new added, I don't believe. Neptune's Cloud Fantasy, collect 100 clouds. Well, that'll be simple enough once I get back up there. Uh, blacksmith blocks complete. Near infinite power would probably be pretty easy to do at the moment. Just need to make 30 resonant flux capacitors. Which, if you remember, created with pyrothium dust, redstone flux capacitor, and enderium. But you know what? I don't want to build these by hand. I'm going to teach my system how to make them. Because why not? And they can go right on this first page. Crafted monitors currently doing nothing, so. Flux capacitors, make me 30. And I'm gonna take a look at my crafting modifier. It needs pyrothium dust. I don't think I taught it how to make pyro pyrothium dust. But that's a simple fix. Nope, ran out of electrum. Fantastic. So, some silver. Some gold. I should teach it how to automate, you know, electrum and that sort of stuff someday. It's just so not a uh, high priority for me because there's been so many more interesting things to do. And I can just let that sort of thing run off camera for the most part. All right. So I'm going to let things process and look for other quests that I can do while I'm doing so. Crystal clear needs a ton of glass. Um, that needs 1 million oak wood. How am I doing on oak wood? 87,000. That's going to take a lot longer. Oh, that's only 100,000. I'm almost there. Fantastic. Um, I need a whole bunch of dirt, don't I? I need soul sand, which I should really go tell my guy to start producing soul sand for me. Only needs 10,000. But more importantly, I need 100 quadruple compressed dirt. And each of those quadruple compressed dirts is 6,561 dirt. So I'm going to grab what I need to put together a little system for produ mass producing dirt real quick. Be right back. Alrighty, folks. I have my flux capacitors. All 30 of them. I'm waiting on plastic. I'm going to set up something so that I never have to wait on plastic again. And because the flux capacitors do not stack, rather than attempt to... Uh, um, put the uh, move them all into the energetic infuser by hand. I'm actually going to set this thing up over here with an input on top and output on the side. And I'm going to tell my export bus to export a flux capacitor into here. And that will charge up, use a whole bunch of power, and then output it back into the system. Hopefully, it won't try to put the charged ones through there I think the basic bus is, bus is smart enough to at least respect damage values. We'll find out in a moment, though. Uh, speaking of, in a moment, my redstone has finished processing. So, going to select task fluid energy. There we go. And yes, this is wasteful because I'm going to dump a whole bunch of extra in there, but I don't care. Come over here. Take a look at how much redstone I have over 10k. Extra 14 buckets, not going to hurt anything. And quest complete. I can get 64 nether redstone ore or a reward bag, and I prefer the reward bag at this point. Though if you have the oh, 250 redstone dust early on, that 64 nether redstone ore will process into, um, well, 24. That's a lot. I can't even do the math in my head. Let me grab a calculator. Um, so, oh, derp, I am an idiot. So that'll process into 24 stacks of redstone or 1,536. You get almost a six, you get an over six times return. That quest is definitely worth doing early if you're having redstone issues. Uh, this was an epic reward bag and contained blackberry seeds, corn seeds, and lettuce seeds. Boo. 
I think I actually threw the last set of uh, blackberry and corn seeds I have had over the uh, edge of the world because I didn't care. Oh well, they can't all be winners. Uh, okay, let's check on this guy. Looks like it's charging up a new one. And if I search for flux, I have two fully charged, one charging, and 27 uncharged. Awesome. So now I'm going to set up another QDS. Hmm, you know what? I wonder if I can do this. Sure, let's try it. This will be fun. I'm going to pull some power over here. And I'm going to need my ME covered cables, which I have a good bit of, but so there we go. And I'm going to hold shift and right click on that so that it retains its configuration. Nope. Failure. So, quest book for the hoarding. Near infinite power. Select task. Whack the QDS. Put the basic export bus back on top. It's still set to that guy. Set this to accept in top. Output to the left straight into that guy. And once that fills up, it will be outputted into the quest delivery system, which is now 3% complete. Awesome. Automated quest completion. I like everything about that. And then I'll just grab the two full flux capacitors that I have. How about both of them? And I'll manual submit those. There we go. Now we're up to 10%. Awesome. All right, moving on. There's a new category of quests added called bragging rights. Pointless quests that have nothing to do with any anything. These are here for people that just really want bragging rights. Well, I have a good bit of materials. I can probably make some of this. Let's see what the thermal expansion has to offer. Uh, it wants me to craft a little bit of everything. It'll get me a thermal fanboy sign. These really are pointless quests. They just give me random signs. So, you know, I might come back and complete some of these sometime, but at the moment, no. Let's focus our uh, materials on things that will help us along further. So, Hell's Kitchen. Um, I need to craft a presser. I can do that. I can do that really easy. How do I not have pistons? You, make me pistons. There, I have crafted a presser. I now need to make firm tofu, tofu and soy milk. So I need to get soybeans. I do not have soybeans. Do I have soybean seeds? Maybe over in that seed uh, chest that I stopped using a long time ago. I love haste three. Yes, I have a single soybean seed, which is all I need. So I'm gonna need my shovel. I'm actually gonna need to recharge my shovel. And I'm going to go grab some bone meal and do this the easy way. see does this thing just work or do I need to give it power nope it just works set it down put in soybeans collect soy milk and firm to uh, silken tofu which I then need to put the silken tofu in to make it into firm tofu which is remarkably accurate as far as uh, making uh, tofu is concerned you compress soybeans into uh, 
silken and then you compress uh, silken into firm. Oh, I need a whole bunch of both. All right, hang on. Let me uh, set this up to run for a bit and I'll be back. Now, because I'm not a vegetarian and have absolutely no compunctions about, uh, you know, eating animals, I'm not going to bother automating this system. I'm just going to get myself set up with, you know, the 200 I need and call it a day. And to do that, I have my little three by three of tofu here and I've got, uh, oh, I thought this would be cooler. It unfortunately is not. That's okay. Anyway, I've just got a whole bunch of tofu. I mean, a whole bunch of uh, bone meal and a whole bunch of soybeans. And I've got uh, a couple of pressers set up. And I'll just come through and manually uh, refeed them every now and then. Because I just, I, I, I don't care to spend the time to set up an automated system. It'll take longer to do so than it will just to do it all by hand. Uh, I have 70 in my inventory. That makes 159-ish. Yeah. Anyway, so that's basically how that's going to work, and I'll just com get that completed off camera. Anything else in Hell's Kitchen I can do easily. Uh, I might have enough to make my 10,000 vinegar by now. Let's check, check our melon supply. I do. Fantastic. So vinegar. I've not taught it how to cr craft vinegar yet, but I'm about to. Um, but I want to make sure it crafts it with melon juice. Oh, I have taught it how to craft vinegar. Or no, I just have some in there. Also awesome. So, make me a melon juice. You shift click that into there and then replace the melon, uh, the juice that it has with the melon juice. Encode that for me. Grab the powder, toss it into my system, and tell it to make me 10,000 vinegar. Well, 9,991. That'll take a bit. Keep him busy. Since it's crafting that. Uh, how are you doing? Up to 40%. Good. Uh, and then I'm going to set up a QDS to input that vinegar without me needing to do so. However, remember that uh, the QDS and applied energistics do not necessarily get along very well. You need to have a buffer inventory in between. And that buffer inventory in this case will just be a basic chest. I need to put the basic export bus on top of that chest. And then some item ducts to move items from the chest and into the QDS. With a pneumatic servo so that I don't need a lever or redstone torch or anything cluttering up my world. And set that to redstone ignored. Uh, I don't have my vinegar on me, of course. That would make life far too simple. Maybe I'll see about upgrading my applied energistic system sometime soon. So, yep, vinegar's going in and then getting fed straight into there. And if I take a look at my quest book, I can see that that is ticking up slowly. I will get a full heart, a strong box, and a reward bag. And I bet that strong box will have some cool stuff in it. All right, fruit or veggies. Need 10,000 tomatoes. I think I have the same sort of quest for lettuce. Ooh, I'm nowhere near complete on tomatoes and lettuce. Leafy greens. 50,000 lettuce. Oh boy, I better uh, set up some better farming methods. But I've got plans for that. I'm making bread from potatoes. I have almost enough potatoes to make all of the toast that I need. Should probably start that processing. However, this guy is just uh, not up to the task. 
So you know what? I'm going to uh, upgrade. I'm going to upgrade my uh, ME assembler containment to uh, my Mac ME assembly chamber. Uh, be right back. I'm going to get things together and start that going. All right, folks, this plastic and processor issue is just become intolerable for me at this point. So I am setting up a system to make sure that I am always stocked up with a certain amount of what I need. And to do that, I am going to set up first a redstone furnace here. Um, it is accepting from the bottom, outputting to the back with a precision export bus, putting raw rubber into it a stack at a time. And I'm going to give it power because, you know, I remember to do these things. This is an incredibly derpy way to set up power, but oh well. And the level emitter is going to be set to turn it off once it reaches five stacks of rubber bars. And then I'm going to set up one just like it right next to it. But that one's going to... Um, begin emitting when it reaches five stacks of raw plastic. And it's going to dump rubber bars straight into it. Because I am really sick of running out of just everything. All right, so set up you like that. Grab my furnaces. I taught my system how to make furnaces so that I would be able to do this more efficiently. All right, outputting to the back, importing from the bottom, and you are going to dump in raw rubber bars. Except I don't actually have any raw plastic on me, probably because I'm entirely out and will never have any again ever. That's not true. There's probably a little bit of it in the system at the moment. It's just frustrating that I have 11,000... Uh, um, raw rubber and no There we go, so you will admit when you have enough There we go, and now where is my item ducks again? And now I am constantly making a uh, stockpile of both rubber bars and raw raw plastic Good that should speed things along significantly while that was finishing I got the last couple of copper that I needed, and I completed the uh, um, power quest. So let's hand those in as soon as I clean up my inventory again, because I have too much stuff in it. It's not even a new situation. You can see this thing is, oh, it's done. Does that mean my export buses are done? Yes, good. So now I'm going to set up two more export buses. And uh, let's see, I need processor bits. I want a basic processor assembly and an advanced processor assembly. And I also want a one of you and one of you. So I'm going to finish getting this all set up before I complete anything. Uh, too much crap in my inventory. And then tomorrow, I'm going to begin significant amounts of blood magic. I just wanted to, you know, have one episode of showing you guys, you know, me working on quests. Hmm, that presents a challenge, actually. You know what? This will work. There. Efficiency of space. Can I even target you? Yes, I can. Good. So this is going to output once I have a stack of basic processors, because I want to keep a stack of those on hand at all times. And I want to keep a stack of advanced processors on hand as well. So you can see both of those immediately turn off. And this guy, when uh, it is active without a signal, 
we'll apply basic processor. Hmm. Move single items or craft. So if it doesn't have any pro uh, basic assemblies, it will make some. So now I'm always uh, moving raw rubber, moving rubber bars, crafting precision, uh, basic processors, crafting advanced processors. Good. And they are all set to be active without signal. And the components behind them are set to stop them once I reach a certain minimum amount of uh, the component that I'm looking for. Fantastic. Now if I look up processors, I see I have some slowly entering the system. If I look up rubber, I have a bunch of rubber bars and a bunch of raw rubber. If I look up plastic, I'm slowly gathering more raw plastic. Life is good. And if I come up here and take a look at my oven, hmm, why are you not active? Input bottom output. Input advanced processor assembly. Active without signal. Whoops. It does help if I actually, you know, set the item ducts to extract mode. All right, so raw rubber's burning. Rubber bars are burning. Basic processors are burning. And outputting. Advanced processors are doing nothing. But that might be because they can't craft any right now. Yeah, that's what the problem is. There we go. So it's just waiting on that. So next time I'll get this upgraded and hopefully start in on Blood Magic. I really want to get going on it, but I wanted to clean up all of these quests first. So... Where was I on? For the hoarding, raw ores, submit, one more. I thought I had all, all that I needed. That's okay. I can start grinding it after I put this one in. There we go. I uh, get my ender quarry, a full heart. I can get two laser drill prechargers, don't need them. Endothermic pump, don't need it. Or one of two reward bags, I'll take the one on the left. And I received an epic reward bag. And I'm up to 41 lives. Now all I need to do is find where I had copper. It's the only one that has one, I believe. Huh, that one's doing nothing. What? Me? Over-engineer something? Nah. We'll just leave that there marking that that one is empty. If I ever need to pulverize more stuff. There we go. Now I'm proce processing my nether copper. see if I, what, I get what's in the reward bag. Oh, fruit tree saplings. Meh. I also completed the power quest, which I get two hearts, and we'll take the right hand bag, which is epic again. Ooh, that's awesome. Infernal princess and drone, oblivion princess and drone, and three oblivion frames. Cool. That's going to speed along my bees. Oblivion frames are a um, apiary frame upgrade that causes your bees to die in a single tick. So yeah, when I get to bees, that'll be very helpful. All right, let's see. Do I have any other quests available with rewards available, I mean? Nope. All right, I'm going to double check everything and make sure that, oh, wait, there's one more new quest that opened in for the hoarding. Metallic collection. I need 64 blocks of almost everything. Hmm. Aluminum, brass, aluminum, tin, bronze, copper, iron, gold, steel. I have all of that, but I don't have the alamite. So I'll have to set up the uh, smeltery again and show you how to make alamite before I can uh, turn that one in. 
Okay, and that's all of the time we have for quest cleanup today. Uh, this will be the um, only one of these episodes um, coming this week. I'm going to get started on uh, Blood Magic next time because it's fun and I want to. So my goals for tomorrow, expand the assembly chamber. Well, yeah, I'll do that on screen. Expand the extend assembly chamber to be a 5x5x5 five by five by five, and that'll make it move an awful lot faster. And get started on Blood Magic, which I'm going to fly through Blood Magic. I have some plans that should allow me to progress the tech tree at a, an almost insane rate. So, thank you very much for joining me. Um, apologies if this has been a slightly boring episode. I know that it's not up to my usual standards of, uh, you know, explaining something new and interesting. But I, it was just a chore that needed to happen, and I don't want to complete quests off screen. I guess um, you guys can let me know if you'd like me to just handle those off screen and then come back and tell you about it and then open all of the reward bags on screen. I can do that. It just seemed not right to me. So, once again, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.